Hi, a very good morning and welcome back. Today let's learn about a basic hydraulic circuit. So this is the basic hydraulic circuit of a construction equipment like JCB backhaul order machines. Uh, as you know the construction equipments like the JCB machines are powered using hydraulic circuits, hydraulic powered machineries. So uh, we have this basic circuit being laid out over here so that you can learn how basically the hydraulic operations happen or carry out in a construction equipment so this is it let's identify the main components initially uh, here we have the hydraulic tank so this is the hydraulic tank which holds the hydraulic oil for the whole hydraulic uh, operation okay and this is our hydraulic pump in jcp backhaul order 3dx machine we use a gear pump with a flow of 110 lpm okay and this pump gets its drive from the engine so the engine is directly connected towards the pump through a shaft so the pump gets its drive from the engine next we have the main relief valve and after the main relief valve we have the valve block and through the valve block the oil is being directed towards the actuator or the hydraulic rams okay and this hydraulic rams are actually converting this hydraulic energy created by the hydraulic circuit into action or into work so let's see how it actually happens okay and this is our hydraulic filter which filters the hydraulic oil before it reaches back towards the hydraulic tap so if you want to learn specifically about the hydraulic ram or valve block or mrv operation filter or the hydraulic pump working you can bring your mouse cursor over here it this portion will get highlighted click on it and you will be directed towards the video which explains about the working of each of these components separately okay now let's learn how the hydraulic circuit actually works so this is our hydraulic tank which holds the hydraulic oil so the hydraulic oil will be passing through this rubber hose towards the hydraulic pump you can see there are a lot of rubber hoses actually connecting all these components so these rubber hoses actually carry the hydraulic oil to various hydraulic components for the work to happen so we have the hydraulic oil till here when we start the engine, the pump gets its drive. So the function of the pump is to create a flow, just to create a flow. So it creates a flow of 110 LPM in a JCB 3DX backhaul order machine and it supplies through the main relief valve towards the valve block. So you can see over here, this is the route currently which have been selected by the valve block. So you can see this yellow line over, I mean the blue line over here okay so the hydraulic oil will pass through this blue line and reaches the head side of the hydraulic arm this is called the head side because this is the top portion above the piston so this is the head side so the oil reaches here and it exerts a pressure on the top of the piston which results in the piston to move downwards so see the arrow the piston will move downwards and this is called the rod side of uh, the hydraulic arm because we have the piston rod over here okay so the oil from the rod side because of the pressure from the top will escape through this line this is the return line this green one so through this return line it will travel through this direction reaches the filter and the oil get filtered over here and come back towards the hydraulic tank so why we use a filter is that while the oil is traveling continuously through this circuit there might be uh, impurities in this uh, circuit which actually contaminates the oil so to filter that we use a filter at this point okay so what happens over here when this oil gets towards the return line our piston comes down and this is our piston rod and this piston rod at this end will be connected towards a bucket if you say the excavator bucket of a backhoe loader machine the excavator bucket is connected so it will result in the excavator bucket to move if it is connected in one direction okay if you have to dig it it will move downwards and start the digging process when it moves downwards and we need to move it upwards or lift the piston rod upwards for the reverse motion of the bucket to happen so how we do that for that we move our valve block lever we have a manually operated lever above the valve block so we move the lever towards another direction so this is the first direction which gives us this operation resulting in our piston to move downwards okay now we move the lever upwards so this is the second direction of motion so you can see another two lines inside the valve block i have shown so when we move the valve block these lines get blocked over here and our new line 
will start to open so this flow will route through this line okay and this line will be closed and it will travel through this direction okay and it will reach here okay so what happens is that now we have a pressure on the bottom point I mean the road side of the piston so we hit it over here and it will result in the piston to move upwards the piston will actually move upwards so we have the oil channel in this direction which will be lifting the piston upwards and the oil from here will actually move in the opposite direction like this okay and here it will be closed so it channels through this way and get back towards the return line see this is the return line so it get back towards the filter filters the oil and get back to the tank so we achieve a reverse motion by moving the lever this is simply how it happens in a JCB machine you move the lever of the valve block each of these lines switches in the possible way that you are moving the lever and resulting in the hydraulic ramp to uh, react according to that so where it is connected that particular bucket or uh, that particular object will be moving as per the selection of these levers so that's simply how a JCB backholder machine works with this circuit we will be having more number of uh, hydraulic ramps say 12 hydraulic ramps in a backhaul order machine so when 12 ramps come in this hydraulic valve block system will become much more complicated but it is as shown as this it is a simple operation its basic operation is as I have mentioned but it will be a bit more complicated with more number of uh, ports and more number of galleries matching each other to support uh, more hydraulic ramps so that's it that's how the whole hydraulic circuit of a backhaul loader simply works so i believe you got the idea about the basic circuit and if you want to learn about each of these specific components bring your mouse cursor over here here or over here click on it and you will get the video of that okay now let's see why a main relief valve is used okay there is a pressure limit of 3300 psi that's the operating pressure of the hydraulic circuit of a jcb backhaul loader machine so some cases we will get a back pressure towards the hydraulic front so I will show that a flow is going like this towards the valve block and if we get a back pressure in the reverse direction it will come and hit the hydraulic pump and that will result in the hydraulic pump to fail so to avoid that we have a safety system that is the main relief valve its function is to protect the hydraulic pump so if a pressure above 3300 3, psi rises the hydraulic pump will be protected by rerouting the flow through the main relief valve so the back pressure coming will become like this or it will be coming like this so it will not be allowed to get into the pump instead it will travel through this return line through the main relief valve towards the return towards the tank so it will not be allowed to touch our hydraulic pump this MRV will seal the hydraulic pump and protect the hydraulic pump so that's the function of the main relief valve to protect the hydraulic pump if a back pressure is being created and there will be many number of other valves also to protect our hydraulic rams uh, in the complicated circuit of a JCB backhaul order machine but this is simply how the whole system uh, basically functions so I believe you got it's working and if you like this video, please click the like button or do drop a comment. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.